Alright guys, James here with JW and Lawn Care and Landscape Years. You can probably tell I've kind of been messing around as usual with my equipment and saw this over in a pile back there, um, the stuff I used to use. This was originally a billy cart that I had, car kind of thing for going down our street. Um, it's seen some use, it's been sitting for a while, but I thought, oh, actually, a self-propelled mower, I could make it a stand-on car mower. So, sure enough, I got the thing, shoved it in there tied the cable around here just to hold it up a bit and so basically I just stand on the back here and the your clutch kind of goes like that and it pulls you along um this bit of wood under here has been kind of put down too far as you can see so it kind of scrapes the ground but the principle of it is uh, put me into thinking well I could actually uh, build a decent sulky for this um these are normally for commercial cars stand on mowers or walk behind. Um, so I was thinking what I could do, get a piece of metal or something to put it around this lip here for the catcher and uh, have the thing car sit down and uh, now that won't even close. Oh no, there we go. And uh, yeah, go like that. Um, it works pretty well. I mean I've gone up and down our street with it, got a bit of grass with it. It works, you know, works reasonably well. It is a little too far forward. Cause you know when you're oh when you're going it's kind of like that, but um, yeah it is still a little too far forward. So if I make one I'll kind of make it a bit back more kind of. But you know again the principle, the principle's there. So I thought you know I mean why not? Like you know it's a it's a good idea. Um, I've just washed this today as well by the way. Um, yeah, so I thought, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Because if uh, that's something that can cut down my mowing time a bit, um, you know, that'd be helpful. And I actually thought of this one because I remember um, when I was talking in my last video that I made last night about that uh, visit to that Gravely dealer in Kyneton. Um, and thank you, by the way, Orkin, for um, suggesting the uh, Rover ZTX34. Did not know about that. That does look like another plausible option because there is a dealer for rovers far closer to us, like just up the road. Um, so, yeah, I kind of thought of it because at that Gravely dealer they had, they also had, I think it might have been a World Lawn or a, uh, maybe it was a Parkland, Parklander, I think maybe, um, commercial car with 33 or 32 inch walk behind mower. Two and a half, I think the guy said. And it was basically, it was like those American car kind of X mark. Um, turf tracer kind of ideas, I think they are. So I had your handlebar car grip and um, you walked behind it but it had a bigger deck. And um, I thought, ooh, you know, probably put a sulky on that, couldn't you? And the guy said, yeah, yeah, you know, you put a sulky on it. Um, and so I thought, oh, maybe I could put a sulky on this. So I've, you know, chucked it on and it works all right. So I think I might, uh, when we go visit our friends at Bunnings again this afternoon, hopefully, I think I might. Uh, ask them about something like this and uh, you know see what we can do so yeah just a quick little update because I think that was uh, pretty cool